635 right now, and students from the Coalition for a Tobacco-Free Hawaii Youth Council are being recognized for their work against big tobacco companies. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the state capitol with more details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Ross. And yes, the youth are here and they're joining us here on Wake Up Today. Please welcome. This is Josh Ching. Good morning, Josh. Good morning. We also have Logan Lau as well. Good morning, Logan. Good morning. Both Kamehameha Schools seniors, class of 2022 right here. Happy and congratulations. So for those who are just joining us here, we've been talking about the council and all the work that you all been doing. But for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about the council and how did you get involved? Yeah, the Coalition for Tobacco-Free Hawaii's Youth Council is a coalition of over 80 middle school, high school, and college-level students from across the Hawaiian Islands fighting to end the sale of flavored tobacco products and towards a tobacco-free Hawaii. Um, I initially got involved because um, I, I care deeply about how Native Hawaiians are disproportionately impacted by the tobacco industry's targeted marketing. Interesting point. We'll elaborate on that on Wake Up Today. But for you, Logan, how is it like spreading this message, peer-to-peer -peer awareness? I mean, you have to feel some sort of peer pressure when it comes to this topic. Absolutely. I think peer pressure is something that's inevitable when you're involved in something like this. But it's something that, again, just to echo what Josh said, it's something that I am passionate about as well just because of my native wine heritage and things like that but i think um one big way to get involved is to attend one of our webinars or our community events which educate and help to educate the community about the dangers of flavored tobacco products and really help to get youth involved let's talk about house bill 1570 that relates to vaping and also flavored tobacco products you all are asking governor ego governor Ige, excuse me to veto this bill Tell us uh, why would you like him to veto this bill? What would you like lawmakers to know? Yeah, so initially we were in really strong support of HB 1570, largely because it was fighting to end the sale of flavored tobacco products. But over the course of the legislative session and just recently as it was passed, a number of industry planted amendments were included that exempts over a thousand e-cigarette flavors, including menthol. And the problem with this is it um, widens existing disparities for Native Hawaiians in particular, Filipinos, African Americans who are disproportionately targeted by the tobacco industry through these flavors that are about to be exempted, which is why we're asking the governor for a veto. And for you, Logan, you know, why do you think this House bill got so far? It was really targeted for you to protect our youth, but it sounds like there are some loopholes. Exactly. So like you said, it got so far just because initially it started off with such great intentions to ban all the sale of all flavored tobacco products. But as it made its way through the chain of command, um, things called like poison pill amendments were added and this kind of essentially killed the bill in a sense that it provided the loopholes necessary for the tobacco industry to circumvent the whole legislative process and really the essence of the bill. Interesting points. Thank you so much, Logan and Josh, for your time. They're still going to be hanging out with us here on Wake Up Today. And if there are any developments when it comes to what is happening here at the state capitol, including House Bill 1570, we'll keep you posted in our future newscast and also online at cage12.com. Reporting out here at the scene, Dallas and Averos, H12 News, working for Hawaii. Thanks for the live update, Dallas. All right, coming up next, we're working for Hawaii with a live look at the roads. And don't forget to grab that umbrella before heading out the door this morning. Plus, we 